lights on. Hello. Let me try again. Hello, hello, hello. It's fine. Hello, guys. Who? Welcome to Volcano Zone's gameplay, guys. All right. Um, live stream. Anyway, guys. Uh. I might do some <laughs> game time for you guys. It's called Call of. I don't know how you say it. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, welcome to uh, my gameplay called Called of Ch Ch something. I don't know. I got this game on G Xbox Gold. I want to just try it a little bit, honestly. By the way, I'm playing on night. <laughs> and which wise, I'm not 100% sure this is like a horror game or. Hold on, man. My camera's off. But anyway, um. So. Okay, guys. So. Welcome to Call of. To. To. Something. To who? Something? I think I pronounced that right. Um, so not sure it's a war game. So, of course, guys, uh, I'm kind of <laughs> uh, excited about playing it because this might be an adventure game. So, it'll be recited. So, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this watching me playing it. So, let's do this, guys. Call of True. So. Okay, so I'm not sure it's a horror game, so I say it's like a horror game. <laughs> so I might check upon subtitles, of course. Cause here, I'm not sure it's a first person shooter, but I know it's an adventure game. So let's do this, guys. All right, chapter one Pierce and Education Agency Boston Boston 1924 Edward Pierce Veer veteran of the first war war drowned in his memories and wreck and sweeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to with him from his tepor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Okay, so, um, mm, it's more like a detective uh, case or, you're like, um, it's more like Sermo Holmes. I don't play this kind of game. I wish I had played that kind of game, but. We'll see how that goes. I might do an hour gameplay or whatever I could reach chapter 1 kindly if I could complete. I don't know if I like it or continue honestly guys. So let's try my best. <laughs> Dwayne. If I'm mad is mercy. May the God pity the man who is his closeness. Yeah, guys. Oh, it says on the bottom. <laughs> but I was not reading the scene. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I see we're in the sea. Is this strange and? Kind of creepy. How I start. Hmm. Oh, right. I'm never expecting the dead shark jump scared. <laughs> but then I kind of scared it me that much, but it kind of creeps me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, they cut sharks! Oh. oh my god! Why they skin the shark for? 
Hi, so they 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 butchered the Sark Crouch. Okay, so how do I uh track this? Oh, oh wow, you could hmm peek in it. Okay, so I'm getting a hang with the tutorial or something. Counter darkness, you might wind up some to drag that. Pick up object. Okay. I see. Ooh! Okay, okay. okay. Better not get scared at well because I am playing a dark. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> That'll be nerve wracking anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm trying. Uh, is that where. Uh, that's the way. Maybe. Some um, creepy uh, dark darkness guy here. They were something like that. Not too creepy. What a putrid offering! Oh no! Not those orcas. I love Arcos. Oh shit. Man, I love these whales. What do they do with it? What the? Ugh. <laughs> Guys, I went to see what we born for. You have been chosen. Don't fight. I've been chosen. Okay. So. No fighting in this? By the way, I'm not putting my headphones out while I just have my headphones by like 70%. Everything has already been written. Hmm. Perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Oh. Why? Oh, fuck. First of all, I did not thought it was a dream. I wonder I why I still take these things. Oh man. So this has been is... too long since I've slept in a bed. Oh wow. I used to be an avid reader. The reader. Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. I right, was just check around the place, okay? So I know you're a detective, so sweeping. Take a drink. This will affect your destiny. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> In a while I just took I a drink. That's some more. Ooh, what we got? Got some um, upgrades. I never thought they had this. Alright, got inventory, got wider, of course. Okay. Let me turn it off. <laughs> anyway. Natural More like science, a Chinese archaeology, 
It is the twenties, honestly. <laughs> I guess. A Not good old guess, story yeah. of black man in the speech. About say it again, I didn't know, know it. it's from Married the woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. I don't want to leave. The lost battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. Take the phone. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Hmm. Oh, wow. You got more. Okay, yes. So many character points. Hmm. So we have strength, quality, and physical power. Oh, fuzzy. Get to the violence. <laughs> The uh, medical. I want to do that, but let's see. Yeah. Interrogation. Uh, pick walking. Go. Oh, fine. Got science. Hmm. I have no idea. Oh, I think you act how you way you are like behavior. Yeah. Finding objective. I do that. And do that. Oh. Oh, you each. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's see. What's the bottle one? I'm not sure about doing this. I do this. I use three of this and two of this. Later I do that one, but anyway. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? How do I What's even got upgrades well, anyway no, points? We <sighs> Monitor the progress of our contract is. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still. I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Hmm. Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... 
I've brought all that I have. Look. Do I not go out? Why am I first person then back in cutscene? Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. No. What am I supposed to find? Tell me. Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? That's all you've got? <laughs> painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Oh, sh Hi. So, Doctor, um, blah blah blah. The Spy Freeman, blah blah blah. Strange Pain, blah blah blah. Steven West. Anyway. Wait, hold on a minute. Pierce. Sandy. Hmm. Hey, I haven't mean, looked at this. Some case. Oh. Are those just collectibles? Anyway? No inch. Alright. A warehouse on Dark Warehouse. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Rather thin. Hmm. So, they're pictures. They're nice paintings. Uh, Drawings, especially. Look who memorize. What's this symbol on the message chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? I have no idea. Let's see, um, you shouldn't take this pain lightly. Find out about the warehouse 13 for those zero waves. I don't know why I pick randomly. If I don't pick any, like. If I find out about 13, 38, 6. Basic game. Something's not right with the story. If I pick that, it will be wrong. Something's not right with the story. You must tell me. If what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. She saw things. Saw things. Saw things. What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. I he knows about the dark water. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Never heard of Where is that? Where it's is a small remote island small off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Ship me off. Dark water holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. So he was the let's see. A walk answer? Man. I don't know which one. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a It means... That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. No. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions... That's right. And you think... That is go to... Oh, same thing. Why that one's... I think I'm beginning to understand. 
I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover. Quiet down. This could be a little... On your side. Let's... An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is, is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater <gasps> right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Like I have a choice. Did I miss Darkwater? Wherever I had to I think I've got a book on the I north. I didn't that. ask. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. Didn't I? Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Mm. I don't want to take a drink. <laughs> Is that whiskey? He says whiskey bun. Wouldn't pass him out because that's how he end up a nightmare. Okay, um, probably I'll leave. Okay, I'll leave. Okay, chapter two. Dark water porn. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused by. The fire that killed her, except the Sarah Hopkins case. And her family, as the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the sweeping label, an address, a warehouse, and on the docks of the island of dark water. The place seems to be starting point for Pierce event. Jason, Jason. <laughs> anyway, hmm. interesting. Hmm. Didn't they have a sequel of this? Because I heard Call of Cruise, like, they have like Call of something. I don't know what they called that game. I, hmm. They should call it like Detective. Called the detective something. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so guys, um, probably I might keep playing or not keep playing. This game is not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Alright guys, mm. 
the rolling screen will be take so long, so it's all right. comes the title call. Those new um studio Crater was very new, but anyway, never heard those craters. We're almost there. First title: Call of Chuhu. There you go. Call Chufu. Chufu. Something. As I think I pronounced that way. I don't feel like skipping a cutscene or. Anyway, for today, I won't skip any. some scenes. Either. This game takes long. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Dark Water Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Vettel. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. Sarah. A ah, nice young woman, nice. and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Not a good idea. I was about to say. Talk to... Is that when I talk to him? This guy? Okay, so I'm going to bar. Just to look for a case. So... Alright. Better talk to these people. Not sure hey, police. Oh, hey, can't you go any faster? oh, that's him. We force it too much, we'll break everything. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Uh, what am I supposed to say? I'm you looking say? for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a what sign. the heck? There's something coming. The blood is just Listen. beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? Don't put that beast back in the mm. water. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't no understand. You're not sailors. Damn it. 
Oh nice, this guy. <laughs> oh well. That boy is one with today. Anyway, I'm getting a drink. <laughs> you know, who cares about that cop? <laughs> Whatever. What's he doing with that wheel? This bomb <laughs> kicking in <laughs> this door, him. He ain't going spit out. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I wasn't looking. It wasn't me who went looking for it. I did. <laughs> No one in no. <laughs> hold to test your test strength. I want to do that because I want to try my combat. Honestly, you're overdosing it. I'm sorry. Hold to test your. Let's do Yet that. you served this man, and you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. You mistake my manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. Oh boy. No. Can I order a drink? I don't know about this. Why not about the dark wire or a drink? Should I order a drink? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36? Dark 36? I mean... The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Hmm. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? <laughs> Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I'm going to drink. <laughs> I think we'll get along well. <laughs> I don't know what's that. This will affect my destiny. I had no idea, guys. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then. I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? So they made you feel uncomfortable. You need to see them for yourself. Her vision. Was it the way I see it? The truth is really a question, a point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth? I've got what I need. Anything else? I think that's 
No way. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dying when our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking of the oil. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. Hmm. All right. That'll be all for Dina now. Sir, guys. All right. Talk to this guy for a reason. Talk to Francois. Okay, that's all we had. The medicine and skill can be only proved by discover environment. Hmm. I save in. Uh, my s points. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor. Interesting. Okay. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. You have no right to treat us like this. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. We'll fall. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe. Watch what you say, young man. That cat. Ah. Where's the proof? Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of dark. It's true. Everything have our grandparents tasted, it. and it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer mm. of them. Until the last some at, uh, the end of sentence. One of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Hi. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, let's talk to. No. <laughs> I don't know because there was a scene for cut by her, but I was tall. What you looking at, stranger? Hmm. Say nothing at all. The clientele is predominantly this. male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Seriously? <laughs> Am I for her? Because, what the fuck? Not cause, anyway. <laughs> okay, let's just get out of here. Talk to the captain over there. I thought he's like a detective. He looks like. <laughs> All det detective to that to a man. <laughs> Honestly? Hmm. Fishing oh, equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rostrum. A souvenir from a more prosperous. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Okay, um, talk to me. So, if I found some evidence, I get these. Like the book I found, there's something special about that. Okay. This man I and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. Okay. 
So let's make this quick guys for I end this for 20 minutes because yeah. Alright, that's all. I over brought here. out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. That's I not brought out the boy. Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, the you're heck? To be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Let's go on the deck. Cause that fits why but yeah like a twin something. Hmm, what is this plus tech on? I'm done here but I did talk to this police and he rejected me and talk to the bar every people. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me. Nor there's nothing for you here you either. Think we don't know what you're doing? Hidden in the fog? I'll shut up hmm. your big mouth once upon a How wound? Oh, right there. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. So that's all I'll get from them. Oh, there you go. <laughs> He just walked out. <laughs> what? He just walked out. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm going to answer. I'm surprised I'll Charles Hawkins Sorry. had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1840. I see that you are interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. Who is Khan? I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the see photograph. Lake? Your father. John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. Oh. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea. I examined its wounds. I know of no creature able to... And I took you for a detect... Believe me when I say that these wounds are significant. Come, come. You've only just arrived on dock, and already you think like a sailor. Hmm. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused the... <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death. They shouldn't have not kept the dead animal in the The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious pack. Go read the story of the sailors return to Dab. It's displayed on a wall of... I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection. With any success? 
I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Mm. So that was the woman, Dan. <laughs> I forward. I'm looking for warehouse 36. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. All right. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? I don't want why. <laughs> I don't want to why, you guys. Failed the skill test? What? I got a G-Man that says I failed the skill test. Yonder missed me, me. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to... I think that somebody here wanted me to search this... Search. I shall be on my way. Oh, so come back and see. Okay. Don't talk to him. I was fond to it. I don't know want to go to there. And those guys leave. Oh, yeah. Let's go there. Where do you think you're going? Mm. I'm not here to hinder your work. Edward Pierce, Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all... My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins? Not much more than what everyone knows. They were all burnt to death, right? The whole mansion went up in... Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up... What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. He can be unpredictable. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in, he's in his own home. Do yourself a... Man, those police are... Alright, I'm just going to get inside the warehouse. I don't give a crap about talking to people. <laughs> so... Let's take a look around the... Uh, I think it's nothing. It's a statue. Hmm... Um, Nothing about the statue. Okay. Hmm. That's right. Investigation. Damnation. Why would I? Broke. What? It's no use. The padlock won't give. Why won't I pick walk in? <laughs> I play Fallout, guys. <laughs> you know, but Fallout we could <laughs> walk pick, but this one can't. <laughs> I play Fallout, I know they pick walk in. Come on, guys. Oh, what? You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll they teach weren't. you to come onto our island and ridicule our oh. Don't trust that. <laughs> How can I be the one who defaced your saint? I've just come ashore, you idiots. That's true. We're as drunk as Lord. You bet. You could have gone by without us. Do not rile me. You can hardly stand. He's right. We're no man for the moment. We're annoyed. It's under There's you, our beloved statue, and wait. Now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need. What brings you to dark water? Those guys are you. The two guys behind you. What are the bootleggers? They're protecting their territory. From who? They really don't have a choice. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. 
Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on, just nothing at all. <laughs> I've uh, taken no, enough. Of see you see you again, Sai Warehouse. There is. No, if it gets out, I'll have serious okay, here problems with you know who. I bet that you hit them somewhere in your hut on the dock. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Hmm. <laughs> Found all the guys. Um. So. Tell me. Can I walk? This guy? No idea. What's with you wandering around here? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. I feel like I wonder why. Cause it's to go in a warehouse. Gentlemen, you got a problem. What? Who do you take yourself for, stranger? Your boss is very unhappy with your work. Oh yeah? You're bluffing. She said those knuckleheads are incapable of staying at their post. Darn it! You think he's telling the truth? We'll find out. We'll find out. Prove that you really know Cat. Caesar. Do you say turtle? Her and me. She certainly put them away. It's risky to question my word. I wouldn't like you to get cut with a certain Italian knife. Okay, okay. You've convinced us. And is she who sent you? Yes. What do you want from us? I have to take a look inside the Hawkins warehouse. Leave me alone, and I'll put in a good word for you with Cat. Um. Okay, it's a deal. Yeah, that's why I call <laughs> detective. But detectives don't lie. I'm sorry if I'm <laughs> trying to make this story up, but <laughs> I want some detective, not much. Um, like Sherlock Holmes is only that. Like the car. To the Sermon poems, but either Sermon Gwons like, <laughs> like the, the Romeo, Romeo Juliet, <laughs> the Gwons one, you guys, <laughs> the <C> <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, the spin off one, Let's yeah, <laughs> but don't get me wrong about that. Time. Perfect. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this, this place game. and the Sarah Hawkins case? Oh, enter the reconstruction scene. Oh, that's interesting. Who has enough money to buy painkillers? It smells as bad as it looks. Yes, power. Or something? Can't sleep. Mind yes. power? I know how that feels. Le Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? I don't want to do it. Let's see him. What happened here? I punched. Mirror. Aggressive. Angry or yeah, something. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Mm, this game's interesting. So we did investigate the warehouse. Alright. So let's we someone has settled in here. And whoever it uh -oh. is has something to tell. Uh oh hide! 
Just hide. In there? Yo, don't move. Detective Pierce. Oh no. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Fudge. You sent your man away. Sent your man. Bad idea. I see only one overweight police officer and one hardened veteran. How dare you? I am a representative of the law. <laughs> Relax. Look what I found. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Look how it is. Uh, I'd like to go and see the mansion now. <laughs> of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> he I'd knows. I like don't understand how this thing is made into here. Scared, afraid of it. <laughs> cars parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? Ha. Huh. Can't try well, and do this guy. <laughs> this guy went right under your nose. Yeah. Inspector. God damn it. Her again. Uh oh. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley. You've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on. Keep the smile. You don't want to force me. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, hmm. at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Ooh. That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Oi. Ooh. I feel like I want to stop right there, guys. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. So, see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching uh, this game. Uh, I might stop right there for this uh, chapter so yep and let's see garden of the hawkins mansion peers managed to get into the warehouse to the place thought to be abandoned reveal some surprise signs of recent occupation as well as a part three charred paintings Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Hmm. Alright, so hey guys, uh, I see you guys later on this, so I uh, might end it while the cutscene ends. So. Peace out guys. So. See you guys later. The place. The place. Alright guys, so anyway guys, thank you guys for watching this gameplay. Um so don't forget to like subscribe wanna see more of this and yep. And <laughs> that is I might keep playing either though it's I don't it's more like a thrill uh, a detective game. It's that it will be scary, something like that. So thank you guys for watching. So See you later and peace out.